Today we're talking about reverse osmosis drinking water systems and in this video we're going to go over the uh, bladder tank or pressure tank. Um, if you're, uh, if nothing's coming out of your little uh, filter spigot on the faucet, um, most likely your tank has failed. If you're pressing the spigot and nothing's coming out at all, uh, look to your tank first. Uh, it's really easy to check. All tanks have a little uh, pressure port where you can check the pressure. It's just like checking the pressure in a tire. You can take your pressure gauge, stick it on there, and if you see water coming out, that means it's failed. Basically there's a bladder in there, and uh, the bottom part of the tank is pressurized to 5 to 7 psi, and uh, if the water breaks the seal of that bladder and gets down in the bottom, the tank is pretty much useless, okay? You need to replace it. Not to worry, you can get a replacement for about 20 bucks on Amazon. They have new plastic tanks here, 20 bucks, uh, you can't beat it. Check the links in the description below. If you use my links, I get a little credit. I appreciate your support there. So this is our new plastic tank. Um, kind of an upgrade in every way. The old tanks are kind of heavy, big, um, very uh, unforgiving. New tanks are plastic and cheap. Um, can't really go wrong there. And uh, unscrew this little plastic cap there and our existing shutoff valve and T are just gonna screw right on there. Put a little Teflon tape on there to help protect the threads and seal it up and you're good to go. This one does have a uh, pressure uh, like a relief port. I guess if the pressure gets too high it will kind of uh, overflow there. And it also says you can connect that to your drain line. And if you pull that up, you see it's got a little push to connect fitting. You just stick a little hose down there, tee that in with your drain line going uh, from the water filter itself and they will both drain into the same drain line. But under most situations, you can just leave it, uh, leave it covered up there. Um, unless you pr probably try to put like 200 PSI water pressure through it, it's not gonna ever pop. So you're good to go there. And uh, basically all you're gonna do is put it in place the other one, make sure it is pressurized to uh, five to seven PSI. You can fill these up with any kind of standard bicycle pump, any kind of air compressor, anything that'll check your or fill air pressure. Little o ring wouldn't let me get on there. I'm still getting water out of it. But, yeah, that's not going to work because it's all full of water. But you want to make sure that's between 5 and 7 psi. If not, use a bicycle pump, an air compressor, pump it up between 5 and 7 psi and you're good to go. Make sure you check out my other videos. I got a video on uh, back flushing the RO membrane, uh, what types of filters to use, how often to replace them. Got all that fun stuff, so subscribe to the channel.